Hello, this is um, a summary PowerPoint for chapters 17 through 19. I put these all on one slide because all of these chapters deal with the Tom Robinson trial. These are very, probably the most important chapters in To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, so we'll begin with chapter 17. So in chapter 17, the trial begins, Hectate is the sheriff, and he is the one that is the first witness um, for this trial. Um, pretty much what we sum up is under cross-examination, he admits that a doctor was never called to the scene to examine Myella Yule. Um, so that is an odd um, detail that we, we find, um, and also we find out that all of her um, the right side of her body was the one that was the part that was bruised, um, hit, um, abused. Um, the After this, after Hectate, Bob Yule comes on the stand and he causes a stir. He obviously has a bad attitude. He's using foul language. Um, Mr. Yule is also not shaken from his story. He makes it very clear that Tom Robinson was the one that raped his little girl. And, um, but something that Atticus does is he gets him to write his name on a paper um, and it proves that he's left-handed and this detail is extremely important because if someone is left-handed they're going to use their left-handed to swing punch they're not going to use their right and if you were to punch somebody with using your left hand the part of that person's body that's facing you that's going to be exposed or be the one the part to get to get hit first is that person's right side. So to know Myella's wounds were all on her right side makes that connection that Bob Yule could have indeed abused his daughter. Chapter 18, Myella takes the stand and Atticus believes that she is lying. So when he comes, when she comes up, he, she is nervous. She, um, you can tell that she is not comfortable. Um, of course, Atticus being the gentleman that he is, make sure he, he treats her with the utmost respect, courtesy, um, and she takes it like he's making fun of her, which it makes it clear that she is not used to people respecting her. Uh, she's more likely um, familiar with abuse, which is sad to say. Um, towards the end of Myella identifying Tom Robinson, as Tom stands up, Scout notices that um, Tom's left hand is withered meaning it, it, it's, it, and it explains later in the book how this happened, but there, it's, it's useless. It's literally, um, there was an accident that takes place in Tom Robinson's life that he literally cannot use his left hand at all. Um, and then Myella gets off the stand. Chapter 19, Atticus calls only one witness, which is Tom Robinson. Tom tells his story, being very careful not to flat out just accuse Myella or accuse Miss Bobbio because in this time, you guys, there he doesn't have rights. So Tom has to be very careful with the way he says things. Um, this part of the book, please read it. There's a lot of detail um, that obviously Myella and Mr. Yule do not bring up on their side of the story. However, at the very end, Tom does make one fatal error of saying that he felt sorry for her and that's why he helps her and why he was in her home. And um, this, after this, that line of him feeling sorry, the, um, it, the case takes a turn and um, we could tell that that was probably the worst thing he could have said because it does indicate possible feelings or a connection. Um, that he has for her, but it really isn't. It's just him being a caring human being. Dill um, is in the stands in the colored balcony with Jem and Scout, and he has a, an initial, a very emotional response to Mr. Gilmer's question because Mr. Gilmer gives it to Tom. He hounds him for the fact that he feels sorry, and poor Tom looks guilty, even though he's not. So please read chapter 17, 18, and 19 closely. We'll be talking about this. Um, thank you so much, and please take the time to read.